Although a pre-season is, is never the most fun time of the year for a player, but I imagine it's the games that I'd like to look forward to. So, Sato, come nicely. Yeah, yes, yeah, kind of the, the moment everyone's been waiting for, really. You yeah. know, get the uh, the majority of the running out of the way with um, before the first game. And, uh, yeah, and uh, happily start kicking some footballs around. And kind of what generally tends to be the difference between that first training session and, and the first game? Because a lot of people talk about kind of the running and stuff like that. Is it just kind of fitness? Or? Yeah, first of all, you know, it's the nerves that you're uh, that you're coming back fit enough. You know, you can't come back and get fit during pre-season as it was kind of, you know, 15, 20 years ago when I was starting out. But um, yeah, you know, the lads, are, the lads have come back flying and, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's a benefit to everybody. And, you know, that's, that has actually helped us get the balls out a little bit earlier because, the, you know, the staff know that all the lads have got a good base of fitness already and, and we can start to work on things straight away. Yeah, and how have you tailored your pre-seasons to suit over those years? Because, I mean, you know, uh, all joking aside, there's, n there's no point, I guess, you trying to absolutely hammer the running on day one. You're, you're better suited putting your strengths elsewhere, I suppose, if you had to kind of adjust that. Yeah, of course, I always, you know, every, everybody's different. I, I tend to, you know, just keep ticking over for the first um, few weeks that we're off and just try not to just, you know, sit around doing nothing. Um, and, then, and then obviously you just you just ramp it up the, the closer you get to uh, to get to training. You know, when I like I say when I first started out, you know we weren't given programs and, and runs and ideas to do. Whereas you know cer certainly since I've been here, you know we've been given absolutely detailed itineraries of what to do and what days. You know, and, and they've been spot on to be fair. Do you shake your head sometimes at the young lad and the young lads and, and kind of the the. Uh, speed and quickness of them on day one compared to day one maybe 15 years ago. Yeah, definitely, definitely. You know, it's uh, it, this the long distance running has never been my forte, so I shake my head at anybody who's uh, <laughs> who's out there going too quick. No, but um, like I say, the, the lads are absolutely flying, and and, and I know it's uh, it's only going to benefit us really. Lots of people have talked about how uh, strong the kind of spirit within the group has been, and that links in part to most of them being here last season, I guess. Yeah, definitely. You know, I've I've never been in a squad where everybody turns up and and doesn't want to go. You know, doesn't want to go home. Really, like everybody yeah. wants to be there. Everybody wants to talk, chat to each other, talk to each other, and, yeah. and and work hard together. That's a massive thing, really, when you consider the the number of clubs and teams that you've been at, sizable clubs and teams with good teams here as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I you know I include myself in that. You know, I, I can't wait. Wake up in the morning, want to get into training. It's it's good to see everybody. It's nice to, you know, there's a real yeah, a real a real bond between between the lads, and and that's going to help not only off the pitch, but when we get out there and it, and it gets tough as well, it's going to pull us through. And starting tomorrow, but definitely here next week, of course, you finally get to play in front of the Harris fans again for a yeah, first last. time in a while. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time coming. It's you know, it's it's the it's the main topic of conversation really, just to get out here on the grass, and and have our fans support us. You know, we've had little lads here, you know. Over over twelve months now, and they've, they've not seen the you've not seen the faithful yet. So um, I'm sure they'll give them a great uh, reception, uh, and we'll try and do our best for them too. What will the dan tangible differences be? Do you think because there'll be some lads who will kind of thrive and buzz off that, won't they? And you know, really get into it. Yeah, a lot, it's hard to see the other way around. Really, I can't. You know, it's been horrible the last however long it's been playing with with nobody here. It's it's been torturous, really. So you know, to have that cheer and to have that buzz around the place uh, will you know definitely give me another. 20% really. And in terms of the makeup of the pre-season wow. games, some really big ones here at home in particular, which all players look forward to. Yeah, definitely. You know, we've got some you know, a great a great setup. Um, like I mentioned before, everything's been been put into detail and everything's there for a reason in the in a whole itinerary. So we're looking forward to the games that the you know that the, the staff have managed to, to get for us and. Uh, yeah, like I say, with the fans here again, it'll be you know, hopefully good occasions. And everyone, I guess now that when you know where you're going and who you're playing that first league game, it kind of gives you something to aim at, and what an occasion that'll be as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, it's a, it's a great opening fixture, somewhere to, we can really go and uh, set our stall out, really, and, uh, and and pit our wits against a team who's going to be going to be right up there. So, you know, these these games, especially at home, uh, Cheltenham and Warsaw, these games will stand us in good stead for those.